Well, let's go for a little cruise. All right, let's see if you guys can see it okay over here. Hopefully you can. And we are rolling, good. All right, <clears throat> so I figured I'd do a real quick video on this one. It's not gonna be quick, but a little bit of a talk while we drive. And um, talk about some of this stuff going on with the pandemic and stuff. Things that I'm just seeing, I just, some of the stuff I just, I can't believe that, you know, there's just things going on. I mean, but we gotta have to, let's go back to like when this all started. And, and I think it's weird, you know, people start thinking things, and, you know, because what happens is you want to believe things to be a certain way, so you convince yourself, and then you listen to Rush Limbaugh, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're really convinced that. Uh, but I don't listen to that guy anymore, so I don't really know what he's saying. Uh, and it's and it's not because I don't agree with the right more than I do the left. I just don't listen to him because he tends to not be truthful. So let's talk about this stuff. Um, in my opinion, he's misleading a lot of people right now. When this started, uh, we had, um, you know, it was accelerating so fast that they had bodies, dead bodies in the hallways of the, of the places in New York. And it's like, a lot of, I think a lot of people have forgotten that. I mean, it was so was happening so quickly so uh, and, and so somehow you know that they had and so they had to bring in trucks of course that they didn't fill up because of what immediately started social distancing immediately everybody started staying home immediately all this stuff and it worked so there's this rolling rhetoric about uh, that this is just another flu. And uh, if you, when's the last time you heard that they just filled up the morgue with bodies in New York City from the flu? And it's just like people forget about this stuff. This is what happened in the beginning. And so it's like right now in Arizona. I'm in California right now. I have an address in Arizona too. So you know. um, but right now in Arizona, a friend of mine was just there and uh, I just talked to him and, he, and I don't know if it's true or not, but maybe you guys from Arizona can tell me. They say everything is open. Nobody's doing social distancing. And like the restaurants, they're just like normal every day. He walked into a restaurant, turned around and walked back out because he was like, I don't feel safe in there because he, he won't. because the stuff is real and, and some people, it's like people have gotten to the point where they, it's like they've forgotten, they forgot what, what's, how this started and it's like, you know, right now, yesterday, if Arizona had um, 11,000 cases. Let's take a look at those numbers in a week and see, you know, if uh, this is a fake thing, right? Um, it, it, or if it's over. A lot of people think it's already over. They think, oh, wow, this is already over. You know, this is this is done. And this is fake. You know, it's. We all want to believe that. We all want businesses to open. We all want things to happen again. I mean, believe me. I'm hemorrhaging about between six and eight thousand dollars a month. Okay, myself. So paying employees and, and our work is pretty much dead right now. And and I do that for a long time, so I'm not really worried. But you know, I mean a lot, and I know a lot of businesses can't do that. So I'm in reality about that. But if all of a sudden we overwhelm the hospitals. And the reason that we stopped doing this is because we wouldn't want to over, overwhelm 
the hospitals is if we overrun the hospitals if you're a doctor you're a nurse and you're in the hospital and, and, and you're working and all of a sudden they run low on PPE protection or whatever or and they tell you hey man you need to keep showing up and you've got no protection anymore you know I'm just saying look when are you gonna what's the point remember when you're a kid you're fighting and um, you know and, and you say to the kid oh, say uncle say uncle you know if you're a doctor when's your uncle or a nurse when's your uncle is it when they don't have any PPE anymore is it when you just can't you've been working 12-hour shifts for months and months and months you know wearing protection it is not to protect you it's protect to protect the other people around you from you because you don't know it's you could have asymptomatic I mean I was talking to a guy yesterday oh no this isn't real this is just a bunch of crap you know it's like dude you know I'm not wearing a mask it's like okay you know, you're not protecting you you're protecting people around you from you oh I know if I had No, you might not. There's something called asymptomatic. That means that you have no symptoms. You don't know, you don't even have it, but you, you don't feel like you have it. And the thing that's the worst part about this illness is it's something that for the first few days, I'm not sure exactly how many, it's all based on the person and everything else. You may not feel any symptoms, but you are actually contagious. A lot of flus are like that. You could be not feeling anything, and then for so many days, and then you're contagious during that period, and you're spreading it. So the best way to combat that is just wear the freaking PPE. Wear a mask to protect the other people around you. Wash your hands to protect the other people around you. Wear, wear a mask, and all this is all to protect the doctors keep the doctors from being overwhelmed and the nurses because people go well there's only two percent two percent of the population you know and it's because of course we social distance that's why it's only two percent okay well let's just say let's just paint the picture here so let's say we just say screw it we're just gonna not wear masks we're not gonna social distance we're opening all the restaurants and I'm for opening the restaurants things like that but I want them to have tables far apart I mean there's a way that each restaurant can know how to do it and I and I'm not for the government California government wants to control it all and I'm not for that I think that they need to just let the restaurants open and if I walk in the door and I see no protection I'm turning around and walking out and I think most people would do that because there's no way they can enforce it anyway so it's just crazy why they're trying to make all these rules but anyway, it, 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 let's just paint the picture again. If, let's say, nobody wears protection, everybody just does what Arizona's gonna do, or Arizona's doing from what I've seen or heard. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, so I don't know. Um, let's just say, they just say, screw it, it's not reality. All of a sudden, we have a huge spike in numbers. It could happen faster than you ever think it could because it happens in multiples. It's math. It's not, listen, it, this is the problem is people think there's theory. They say, oh, well, the, the theory's in the in the projections, so, 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 so and so. It's math. It's two, four, eight, 16, 32, doubling, okay? When it's a hundred, with 512, it's a uh, thousand, you know, it's like counting bits in your memory. All of a sudden, it's a billion, then two billion. You know, the three billion, it, it, it grows in doubles and more. It actually grows in multiples. So it could be three times as many. Let's say you infect three people a day. You know, then it's three times. And everybody who infects three people a day, and, and not everybody's gonna get it. They have it, it's all numbers, okay? It's all math. So let's say, you know, you know, let's say it, it happens, you know, that all of a sudden we overwhelm the doctors, all right? We just have this belief, we listen to Rush, and we say, oh, well, he's got it right, because he 
never is anyway, but he's got to be right. Believe me, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm still on the right side, okay, but I'm just, don't, I just know that he is, I've researched stuff he says and it's not true, okay, several times. So, um, so let's just say you just don't believe it, you think, okay, we'll just go back to normal. Everybody goes back to normal and all of a sudden we have a spike in numbers and you're wrong. It's too late to go back and try and fix it, okay? You can't, once you decide to do it and you go that direction, it's a one-way street. So at some point, the, uh, the doctor is going to get overwhelmed. There's not going to be enough. It, it could just grow so fast. The doctors and the hospitals will be overwhelmed to the, beyond the point of being able to service everyone. So what's going to happen is the death rate's going to go up, huge, okay? Because people, there just isn't enough way to get for them, for them to get care. And at some point, the doctors are going to say, screw this. The nurses are going to go, screw this. I'm not going to work. It already happened in my city. We had one uh, nursing home that got a whole bunch of cases, and none of the nurses showed up to work except for one. They shut the nursing home down. And unfortunately, they had enough other uh, places to send the people. <clears throat> they were there. They had to clean it all out. They had to they just close the street. They did all, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Now, if you have a whole state that does all that at the same time, or a whole country does all at the same time, and you have the place so overwhelmed, once it's overwhelmed, there's no way to turn back. Okay? It's just going to be that way. And the doctors all say, screw it. I'm going home. I'm not going to get sick. I, uh, there's not enough protection there's not enough all this stuff they all go home okay or a bunch of them go home they can't care for everybody all right the death rate's even going to go up higher and then the next person in line is what the undertakers right so they're going to have all these infected bodies sitting there and they're going to go so when are they going to say you know i've had enough i'm not going to work so now instead of your two percent death rate that they're talking about people are you know saying now it's going to go it goes up to 30 percent because the people that could have been saved because the doctors you know give them treatment or whatever are now untreatable because there's no doctors okay it's just math it's very very simple it is math mathematically this thing is going to pan out Okay, and some people think, well, if we let it pan out sooner, it's not about that. It's about overwhelming the medical system. It's the reason we wear protection, the reason we cover our faces, the reason we wash our hands, we do all the things that we're doing, the reason they have barriers up at Lowe's and Home Depot between you and the, and the person you're buying the stuff from is to protect, to, keep, to work on that social distancing. Social distancing, it, it, it doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't change. It doesn't change anything. You can still do business with social distancing. You can still have. You can still have uh, businesses open with barriers between you and the person next to you working. You can have. You know, there can be protection for the uh, for the employees you know, at the register. And that I don't agree with California's way of doing it, thinking that they need to be in control of the whole thing. I don't agree with that. But I also don't agree with just pretending it's not there that's just plain stupid that is just that's that's off the hook you know there's no reason to do that there's no reason you know we could you know we could do a lot of things you know and open up a lot of things and, and still have things open but we can be smart about it there's no reason to be dumb and sit there and go oh well, I'm not wearing that mask. I'm not being around, you know, I'm not going to protect other people around me. You know, it's just, you know, I don't know. We'll see how this pans out. It could just make this take a lot longer. And I mean, already we're having business failures. You know, Nordstrom is done. There are a few other businesses that are over. I've, I've been reading about the ones that are going under right now. And, you know, if we make this take a year or two years, there won't be any business left, period. There won't be anything. It won't matter. So, you know, the best we can do is to wear masks, 
social distance, realize it's real, deal with it, not sit there and go, oh, this isn't real, you know, this isn't happening, you know, that's just denial, that's like dealing with, dealing with something denial does not work, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, please like, share, and subscribe.